Thanks for staying with us. A shocking series of events in West Valley City Home. A woman was held hostage and tortured, and a 99-year-old uh, woman goes missing. For every missing person, there's a family, and for them, the search continues. Here's ABC 4's Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Missing in Utah. No one knew the kind of violence that was going on inside this West Valley home. Certainly not the great granddaughter of Marin Carlson, whose body remains missing. She was a little spitfire, let's put it that way. She did not act her age. She was full of life. But in November, 99-year-old Marin Carlson vanished from her grandson's house. She lived in the basement of this West Valley home. She was very independent, but she was finally like, okay, I don't want to be alone. They moved into the house and... She's been living there since then. On November 12th, West Valley Police got a 911 call. A woman claimed she'd been held hostage and tortured. When they arrived, the woman escaped, but her husband was still in the home. This is the scene captured by a Gebhard Daily photographer. Garmin Cunningham was finally arrested after a standoff, and police soon learned of the shocking details of what happened. According to charging documents, Cunningham murdered Carlson. The woman witnessed Cunningham smother, beat Carlson with his fists, stab her in the neck, and took her body into the mountains. Carlson hasn't been found, prompting West Valley police to issue this alert. We're asking for folks who go up into that area to spend time in the mountains, to look around and just be aware of their surroundings and let us know if you find any piece of evidence that might be related to this case. Garmin Cunningham, who was still in jail, died in March after he was transported to the hospital. His daughter has lost so much in the past few months. At the beginning, it was overwhelming. I am still having a hard time. I go to therapy and stuff like that. It gets to me every once in a while. Shawnee Cunningham says her actions by her father blindsided her. She got a call from him on November 3 to say he sent Carlson to Texas for a short period. I was just, I guess you can say, praying for the best that you know it was only going to be for a month. But on November 3, her father had already allegedly killed Carson and was torturing his wife, threatening to kill her if she went to police. News accounts enlightened her. To find out that he was actually capable of doing that, I was not okay. I'm still not okay. But for now, Cunningham wants help in finding her great-grandmother. She is the last of my family that I need to bury. I want her home. Authorities have been looking for Carlson's body near Camas along the Mirror Lake Highway. Hunters and hikers are being asked to look for clues, such as her pink pajamas and purple robe that she was wearing at the time. For Missing in Utah, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.